This is going to be a very brief video on how to install a manually operated grid heater on your 12 valve. You could buy new wires and solenoid uh, to make this. I just used an old second gen harness laying around that I wasn't going to use. The only part of it you really need are the solenoids, uh, the heavy cables, and I like to use the little trigger wires that have the caps on I them. I started by stripping down the harness um, just enough to get uh, the length of cable and trigger wires that I needed. Uh, the rest you can just kind of toss to the side um, and have spare wires for a future project. It's a little messy and tedious, but the price is right, uh, and once you're all done, it works great. The main pieces you will need are the solenoids with battery cables, the uh, cables that go to the grid heaters, and some little trigger wires that clip on the, the solenoids. Before I put them in the truck, I like to test them to make sure they're good. You will need to buy a few little things like a switch, an LED indicator if you want it, and a fuse and some connectors. I also use some wire shield. We'll be hooking them on the factory studs on the intake and running them over to the fender well. Make sure you route your wires in a way that's not going to uh, wear through or cause any other problems. There's lots of space in this square body. I put it on the fender. The two rear posts go to the battery and the two front posts go back over to the intake studs on the grid heater. Here's a diagram. The two left studs need to be deground. The two right studs are a 12 volt trigger. I didn't want to drill any more holes in my dash, so I made a simple little switch plate with an LED indicator and a momentary switch. It's also a good idea to add a fuse. Time to see if it works. Your light should light up if you wired it correct, and it should draw down your battery when the engine's off and you hit the grid heaters. Pretty simple job overall. Um, let me know what you think and post any questions down below. Thanks for watching.